One of the less discussed topics in gaming is the relationship between two people, whether they're friends or lovers. There are plenty of games where you have those kind of relationships, but for the most part, they're very surface level. Pick the right dialogue choices, get in an alien's pants. You know, it, it's just one to one like that. Only rarely are there actually these discussions of feelings or characters who suffer from the very real, awful emotions we as humans do. And by extension, we rarely have to confront them. I'll concede that there have been some indie games recently that do this really well, but for the most most part, it's kind of something that's avoided. Vyacheslav Bushev's Rabbit Story is a game that hides its aim behind cute visuals and simple gameplay. It's one of a handful of games in recent memory to make relationships between people and themselves the focus. It looks at love, friendship, depression, doubt, and even self-worth in simple but effective ways that get the point across surprisingly well considering how quick and to the point and simple the writing and story actually are. The game itself doesn't really have a whole lot to talk about. You click to move, there are some sections that have you looking for items or playing Luigi's Mansion. There are a couple of sections where you have to answer riddles, but the riddles are really just science questions that are so out of left field, I had to Google some of the answers. I wish the riddles had been actual riddles instead of pop quizzes from high school, and I also wish that getting one wrong didn't make you start all the way over. But in all honesty, that's the only real complaint I have about the game because you know, it's pretty simple. There's not much to complain about here. I also think that Rabbit Story could have benefited from a few actual puzzles. Like I said, there are little gathering activities, but the only thing that actually stimulates some thought during gameplay are the riddles, and those are barely riddles at all. There is a section where you have to find your way through a winding path in a way that's kind of reminiscent of Ocarina of Time's Lost Woods or any of those other sections from other Zelda games, and that was probably the best part, at least from a gameplay standpoint. At first, I was a little put off by the visuals and writing that makes the game seem to be geared towards a younger audience, but as I played through and realized what the game was really about, it became clear to me that there's more at work here than visuals. This is actually a solidly crafted game that touches on topics that aren't often brought up. Topics that most people who have ever been in a relationship can relate to and reflect on. I don't want to say much else because I can't without spoiling it because this game is really pretty short, but I do want to say that it's a really introspective game and it's gotten me to think about myself and how I approach a lot of areas of my life. No matter where you are in life or what you've gone through, Rabbit Story delivers a poignant message about paying attention to not only yourself but how you treat those around you. It's a quick, straightforward game that reminds us of a few things in life that are really important. Rabbit Story isn't a game to get if you're looking for gameplay that scratches any kind of itch, but if you want to see one way that games can tackle a mature topic in a way that's digestible for all audiences, it's definitely one worth checking out. You can find Rabbit Story on Steam for about nine bucks. It's not a bad price, so the game is a bit short like I've said a few times by now. If you're up for introspecting a little bit, I think this would be a good place to start. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Indie Bites, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. Be sure to check out the other content that we put out on this channel and remember to drop me a line here on Twitter or through email with any game recommendations that you've got. You can find all that stuff down in the description below. I'll see you next time. Bye!